Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the North American Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG Championship has just now concluded, and Hanzel Aguero with 10 Yi Sword Soul has beaten Sky Striker in the finals, has just now happened, and it was absolutely insane. Game one, the Myst uh, Mystic Mind, what the fuck am I saying? The Sky Striker player opted to go second every single time, and Hanzel built his board with Sword Soul, and then lo and behold, what happens in game one? The Sky Striker player, Ryan, ends up setting Mystic Mind and then activating it, and they just played turn after turn, and then finally he was able to win game one, and then, ten or excuse me, Tenny Sword Soul came back and won game one thanks to Vessel of the Dragon Cycle. Game two, it was a whole another story. Ryan Yu was able to use Nibiru on Hansel Aguero's board and was able to win from there. We go into game three. Anti spells the shit out of uh, Ryan Yu's field and lo and behold it was not enough because he also had rivalry warlords in response to Ryan Yu's Hornet drones and the game was over. Hansel Aguero is now a two-time North American championship winner, and I couldn't be more happy for him. We saw Elijah Green, someone who won YCS Hartford, in a bit of a suspicious situation with some illegal plays that is still being debated about to this day, and he ended up coming in top four with Marincess, easily destroying his opponent in the top eight and going into top four and losing to Sky Strikers. So that is who won, and surprisingly, no Brandon Despia. We saw Brandon Despia earlier in the tops, but once you get to top eight, we did not see any Brandon Despia. It was absolutely insane to see that Brandon Despia did not win like a lot of people thought. We saw a lot of Punk Adventure, Punk Therion. We even saw Adventure ABC, a very, very diverse national championship, and it's going to be very interesting to see what happens on our next ban list. Ladies and gentlemen, that is all the news that I have for you. I'm sure that there will be no more news coming out later in the week with deck lists and things like that. I am currently live streaming, so be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, and come check me out over on my live stream. We're going to be talking about possible ban list implications and just overall how this event turned out to be. There did not seem to be any sort of cheating or anything like that going on, so I think overall it gets an A plus from me on how it was ran. Did take a bit of a long time to get from one feature match to the next, especially later on in the tops, top eight, top four, etc. So if Konami can be able to speed that up a bit, that'd obviously be great. But with all that out of the way, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video.